Hello, my loves. Let's get some warm clothes on and do a cozy, relaxing practice together. We're gonna to begin with either a bolster or a folded blanket parallel to the wall or the back of a door. Let's do legs up the wall on that and that's what we'll start with. So go ahead and take a seat there on the edge so that when you roll onto your back, you don't fall off the bolster. Once you're on your back, you can push your heels into the wall, lift your hips, readjust your shirt or the bolster until you're positioned so that your tailbone is hanging kind of down off one side and your shoulders and head are on the floor on the other side. And then cuddle up in your clothes. Get yourself situated so that you're nice and comfortable. It might take a little readjusting to get everything right where you need it to be. And then once you're settled in, you're kind of looking for that place where your whole body just goes, ah. And that's where we're gonna hang out for a little bit. So you can put another blanket on top of you if you don't feel warm enough. I've grabbed my eye pillow because that makes me feel relaxed as well. And then let's just be together. I'm not gonna talk too much now, but I haven't left you. I'll come back and reawaken with you in a little bit. the light of your breath, breathing in, through, and all around you. As if the light itself is breathing into you, breathing you awake, I don't mean wake up, but just present, awake in a present way. And as the breath restores you, do a brief check of your physical body and just give permission for the body to be as it is and to relax and let go in its own time no pressure a couple of sighs out We'll stay where we are, but just begin to roll the wrists to stretch the fingers out like rays of light, and then to curl the fingers in to make soft fists. And then you can reach your arms either out to the sides or overhead like you're a kitty waking up from a nap. Start to move your feet. And then slide your legs down so your knees are bent. And then push back a little bit so that your tail is not hanging off your prop anymore. If you have an eye pillow on, you're welcome to leave that or to take that away now. With the hips elevated, 
we're gonna draw the knees toward the chest. So the knees are just hovering there. If it helps, you can brace them with your hands or hold your legs in some fashion. So let your low back drop down into the space between your tailbone on the bolster and your shoulders. The breath is breathing you full of space and peace. From here, take your knees over to the right. So any amount, now because your hips are elevated, you might not want your knees to go all the way to the earth. And if that's the case, just use your right hand on the outside of your leg to brace it. Draw your belly back slightly, help with the strength of your belly to pull your legs up to center and then over to the left. As far as is comfortable, so you might just hover them there. Maybe you place your left leg on your left hand. Maybe your legs go all the way over to the floor. Right shoulder relaxes. And draw the waistline in, roll your knees to center. Hug the knees with the arms or hold them with your hands. And you can put your toes back on the wall or the door and push the bolster or blanket out from under your tailbone so that you can lie flat. And just for a brief few breaths, let's take the legs back up the wall but now the back is flat, so it's not on that back bend shape. Feel your body and how it's resting on the floor. Feel your breath and how it moves through you. In your own time, roll over to your side. You can go slow just so you don't uh, disturb the, the calm of mind or get a head rush or anything. Use your hands and come on up to sit. So we're gonna sit cross-legged if possible uh, if that's not good for your knees, just find a different way to sit that works better for you. So you can also consider sitting on your bolster, so a little bit of elevation can sometimes make it easier to sit upright. <clears throat> knees drop down, low back's less strained when you do that. So with your legs crossed, find an upright posture where your head is over your hips. Snuggle up in your blankie or maybe your sweater. Take a full breath in. Let the chest expand with that inhale. Keep that expansion even as you exhale and drop your chin. Begin to rock your head from one shoulder and then chin dips down toward the chest and over to the other shoulder. So we're just doing the bottom half of a, a neck roll. And just keep a, a buoyancy to the chest, that sense of light that comes in with the breath that's helping hold this radiance and space within. Let's try to allow the fibers of the neck especially where they connect from the back of the neck to the back of the shoulders. A little bit of time to elongate, to stretch and open. And twisting now, spine to the right, allow the head to move to a more normal or neutral position. You can place your right hand on the floor behind you and your left hand on one or either of the knees. 
Give a little pull with your left hand and twist to the right. And now work with rotation in the head. Just begin to turn your chin and look back over your shoulder. So if you start to have pain, just back off of the rotation. Just make a new way that has a little bit less suffering, a little bit more kindness. Inhale center. We'll twist the other way in a moment, but for now, we're gonna take the right leg straight forward and we're gonna bring the left foot to tree pose, so sole the foot to the inside of the right thigh. Sit up straight, reach up overhead. Give just a little bit of effort to keep this energy rising up. And when you exhale, fold out over your legs and reach out in the direction of your right foot. When you feel like you've gone to a, a part of the pose where it's intense, Drop your hands for support. Take a breath, lengthen through the spine, even through the neck and head. And then on the exhale, fold over the right leg. So I like to do this with my head aiming just inside the right leg. So I keep my right foot about hip width, so it's not super narrow. And then I bring my head to track right down what would be between my legs if I had both legs outstretched. I find that to be less um, torque on my sacroiliac joint. That's the base of the spine where the pelvis and the spine kind of meet. It's kind of an area that can be at risk for some people. But regardless of where you're lining up, work with little engagement in your right leg, try to straighten it. But then relax your brow. Just open that inner vision that I can see to a new way forward where ease and joy are the norm. On the in breath, you're going to come all the way back up and then you're going to cross your legs again and if you can remember <laughs> put the second leg on top it's usually the way that's not intuitive for you to sit cross-legged it's usually kind of like 10 seconds of readjusting because it feels weird you're not alone <laughs> we're going to sit upright like we did earlier snuggling up in the blanket so that we're nice and warm rise through the crown Inhale, bright lift in the chest. And an exhale, chin towards chest. Again, rocking sweetly with the head from shoulder to shoulder and the bottom half of a neck roll, just revisiting <clears throat> this area of the body that tends to be quite tight for many people. Lingering anywhere that you feel like that connection from the lower occipital region down to the top of the scapula is uh, needing time to stretch. And then we'll twist to the left. The head will return to a normal posture. Left hand behind the hips, right hand to either knee, assisting with the arms but not forcing or demanding something from your body that it may not be ready to do. Slowly, slowly the head rotates and you just experiment on the side with, mm, where's that edge here? This is a different world over here on the left. Take the time to move slowly and gently is really a kindness to all the layers of your being. So transition in that kind way to straightening the left leg and maybe try it like I mentioned before. So the left foot, instead of being like dead center in front of your hips, it's a little wider. Sole of the right foot against the inner uh, left leg. Sit up tall, take the arms overhead 
engage that effort. It takes a little effort sometimes to stay present. It's easy to check out. And then exhale and lean out over your leg and just be sensitive, be kind to your body about where is that point where you're like, whoa, okay, that's intense. And then support yourself there. Just put your hands down. Use the support of the hands to create a little bit of length and space in the spine. Just tuck the chin slightly so the neck is also long. And then fold on forward on the exhale. Where is it that you need just a little bit more love, a little more kindness? And that kind of cozy feeling where you can relax and just be yourself. back up to sitting and then we're gonna go to all fours you can just um, slide your prop out of the way if it's uh, in the way. and take your hands forward a little bit from under your shoulders when you get to all fours we're gonna rock forward and backward over the hands so in this position, we're not so interested in um, worrying about the spine, like this isn't cat and cow is what I'm trying to say. But I want you to keep like starfish shapes with your hands. I know they're sea stars, not starfish, but you know what I mean. Spread your fingers, plant your palms. And when you lean forward over your fingertips, try to really press the heels of your hands down. So this is a, a wrist um, strengthener and obviously a stretch. And the next time that you're forward, you will begin to add that a little bit of spine shape. So as you're over your hands more, lift your chin and kind of stick it forward. Try to stretch the front of your throat. And then rock back, kind of let the head go to neutral. Go forward, chin forward, back bend. Let's do that one more time. Move the hands wide enough that there's room for your chest to kind of pop through your upper arm. Now I'm gonna give you an option one more time as we go forward to bend your elbows and place your chest and chin on the floor. And hopefully my mic won't get too noisy when I do that. So your elbows drop back, stick your chin forward, lower your chest to the ground, maybe put your chin on the floor. Push down with your hands, roll your shoulders back, open your chest. And then what we're gonna do here is keep this back bend memory, just move the knees back so that the hips drop down. Then peel the head up, peel the shoulders up and come into Cobra Pose. That breath of light, it moves in you. The light doesn't leave. You just exhale, lift your hips come to all fours. And so now we're gonna turn the hands a different direction. So for this one, we're gonna turn so that the fingernails are on the mat with the wrists forward toward the front of the mat. Now for me, both hands same time is a no-go on this one. Some people can do it. I just have really tight wrists. So you can decide for yourself. So you're doing kind of the same action. You're gonna rock forward a little bit. Now that's gonna actually be easier in this one. And then you're gonna rock backward and you're gonna to try to keep your, your hands spread. And you're gonna do your best to not let your, the back of your hand peel up off the ground. So we're aiming to stretch the extensors. That's the top of the forearm. Now, if you're doing one hand like me, at some point you're gonna to switch to the other hand. If you're doing both, Brava to you for being able to manage that. So 
So again, we're just reining in, making the constraint here of like, it's not, we're not trying to hurt anything by doing this, yeah? We're just trying to open some new channels, maybe some places that have been a little stuck for a little while. All right, undo that. We're gonna uh, separate the knees and feet about hip width. We're gonna grab our blanket or bolster and we're gonna sit down between our feet on that prop. So I, <laughs> this idea, I, I wanted to call it cozy. One, I had a request for some cozy sweater yoga and I may do, I may do more, but just this feeling of, of coming home to ourselves, that's what that cozy feeling feels like. So we're sitting here, this is um, Virasana, sitting between the feet with the knees bent. We're just gonna rest the hands in the lap. So any form, there's not a correct way to place your hands. And I want you to close your eyes, assuming you feel safe to do so. And take a breath, but focus your attention down in your body through the space of your heart. And I mean really more your uh, emotional heart than your physical heart, although the lungs are right there. And use this as a centering tool to bring yourself back the place of comfort within. The place where this golden white light, it just shines, it shines inside you with no restriction. And breathing in and through the heart area. to anchor in your body in a way that feels safe and cozy, welcoming, and like you're finally home. You're finally home. space of home, there are protectors here for you, there are guides and wise ones, and it is completely safe for you to be yourself, to know yourself, and to express yourself. Let's take another breath in through the heart space, acknowledging those who are here with us that are here for our benefit, the benefit of all. If it's meaningful for you, you can join your hands in Anjali. That's uh, palms together in front of the heart. And just bow your head with uh, thanks for this moment and for this space of returning home to the coziness within. And then open your eyes and notice the world around you. Thank you so much for practicing today and for being the bright light in the world that we need. I'll see you next time.